Um, the, our next uh, event is uh, yoga for clarinetists, and we're so thrilled to have Megan Taylor here. Um, she is a Texas-based clarinetist um, and trained yoga teacher, and she actually is a founding member of Students for Performing Arts Health um, at the University of North Texas, and she is on the Health and Wellness Committee for the ICA, and we are so thrilled for you to uh, take over, Megan. Thank you so much, uh, Debbie and Michelle, for inviting me to be here today. Um, this will be a mostly a seated yoga class. If you want to stay in your chair, um, that would be perfect. I think we should be ready to go. I hope that my microphone did not just die. We'll see. Um, hopefully, I'll step back and it'll be okay. If not, I'll just talk loud. Um, so yes, we'll be seated in a chair. So go ahead and take your time to get in that comfortable position. I'm going to step back here a little bit away from the screen. All right. And now that everyone is ready, everything that we'll do today is optional. If you don't want to participate in a particular part or section of this, that's okay. But we'll go ahead and start with just some gentle breathing. So as we come into this seat, just start to notice how your breath is feeling in this moment. And the question I like to ask myself when I start uh, thinking about breathing, especially in yoga, is just how does my breath um, feel and what kind of quality would I assign to the breath? You might notice your breath feeling really short and jagged, or is it feeling uh, smooth and long? And if you feel you would benefit from inviting your breath to lengthen at this point, can experiment with what that might feel like. And then keeping with this lengthened breath or just allowing your breath to return to whatever natural state it wants to be at today, we'll start to invite some length in the spine. So as you inhale, reach the crown of your head nice and tall. And exhale, we'll lower the left ear towards your left shoulder. Just find a little bit of motion here. Maybe take your gaze down to the floor, up to the ceiling. Just notice how that feels. And with your exhale, start to draw your chin down to your chest, gazing towards your left. And then we'll inhale to rotate your right ear towards your right shoulder. So just coming to the other side. And again, we'll pause here. I'm just kind of noticing how this side of your neck feels. We're often a little asymmetrical side to side, so you might notice this feels different. And then with your exhale, we'll gently draw the chin back to your chest. And then release the left ear towards your left shoulder. We'll take that one more time. Exhale, draw your chin back through center. Then inhale, bring your chin over to your right shoulder. With your next breath will bring your gaze back to center, stack your shoulders, your head over your shoulders. We'll go into a few shoulder rolls. As you inhale, draw your shoulders forward and up by your ears. And exhale, float them back and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, we'll go the opposite way now. Inhale, back and up, and exhale, forward and down. Inhale, back and up, exhale, forward and down. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Pause here, let your shoulders return back to their natural state. You might wiggle a little bit. And we'll go into some pelvic circles. You can bring your hands to your knees here. As you inhale, press your heart center forward and then we'll just rotate. Exhale as you come backwards. When you get to the other side, we'll inhale forward. Exhale back. Go as slow as you need to here to keep with your whole breath. The next time your body is forward, we'll switch directions. So inhale back this time. And we'll exhale as we come forward. So changing up the breath a little bit. Inhale as you come back. And exhale as you come forward. 
We'll go about one more cycle here. When you reach a forward position the next time, we'll bring your shoulders back to stack over your hips, back to a seat. Good, we'll move into a few wrist releases here. These are really great if you've been playing for a long time. I like to start by just interlacing your fingers nice and gently kind of at your chest level, just making sort of figure eights with your wrists. So going in one direction here. Not really connecting breath to movement at this point, just kind of exploring how your wrists and your forearms feel. We'll go the opposite way here, whichever direction you didn't start with. And when you're ready to release, just gently shake out your hands. You can do it down by your side or up at chest level, whichever is more comfortable in your body. And then we'll start by bringing the palms to heart center. So just send your elbows wide as you press your, the heel of your hand down towards your lap. And just take a couple moments to breathe into the stretch. You should feel a stretch on the bottom of the forearm here. If you're not feeling it a whole lot, you can always tip your fingertips away from you. That invites a little bit more of the stretch in my body and my in yours as well. And then we'll gently release, let your hands shake out again. Last little wrist stretch here. We'll start by taking your hand, like you're saying, stop in the name of love, but then flip your fingertips to face down. Take your opposite hand to the back of your, uh, back of your palm and then just gently pull your fingertips towards your chest. Nice and gentle here, keep a soft bend in the elbow. So here we're feeling the stretch on the top of the forearm. This one can be a little bit more intense, so I like to do this one hand at a time. We'll take another breath here. And then we'll gently release, we'll switch to the other side, grab onto the back of your palm, gently pull your fingertips towards the belly. Last breath. Good, gently release. Take your hands back to your lap. Maybe scooch forward just a little bit here on the edge of your chair. We'll go to a few seated cat cows. So this is a spine movement to get all of the musculature that supports our, our, our skeletal system really relaxed as we move into that um, this position. So as you inhale from here, you'll gently pull your chest forward. Take your gaze to the ceiling, finding a little bit of arch in the spine. This is called cow pose. And as you exhale, we'll gently press the back of your heart towards the back of your chair. Take your gaze towards your lap. This is our cat pose. Inhale, come back through cow. You'll press your chest forward, lift your gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, find cat, round your spine, tuck your chin down, gaze towards your lap. Go through one more of these. Inhale, press your chest forward. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin, we'll find cat. With your next inhale, gently bring your shoulders to stack back over your hips, we'll find a seated position again. If you need to wiggle out a little bit here, we'll move into a spinal twist next. So keep your palms grounded for now. And with your next breath, we'll inhale to reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, we'll float your palms. Now we're just getting into the shoulders a little bit before we move into a twist. With your next inhale, reach your arms back up. Awesome, exhale, release down. We'll take one more. Good. Inhale, arms lift up high. This time we'll go into our twist. As you exhale, take your right hand to your left knee and then take your left hand just to the back of your seat. You can take your gaze over your back shoulder. Think about finding length in your spine as you inhale. So really lifting the crown of your head tall here. Good. And if taking your left hand all the way to the back of your chair is a little too intense, you can always just take it next to your left hip. That's okay. We'll take one more inhale here. Good, with your next inhale, we'll gently release, reach both arms back up overhead, unravel your spine face forward. And we'll exhale to the opposite side. Left hand will come to your right knee, right arm behind you. Once again, finding that length in the spine, maybe gazing toward the back of your room over your back shoulder. Good, you all look lovely. We'll take another breath here.
With your next inhale, we'll gently release. Reach both arms back up overhead. Unravel your spine. Then exhale, bring your palms back down to your lap. We'll move into a side body stretch from here. We'll take your left hand to either your lap or to your chair. Sometimes it's helpful to kind of grab onto the bottom of your chair if you can. Then as you inhale, you'll reach your right arm up and overhead, finding a nice long side body in this side. Really think about keeping your right hip really grounded into your seat as you open your chest, reaching over toward the left side of your space with your right fingertips. And here you might experiment with taking your gaze up to the ceiling or down to the floor. Just kind of noticing how your neck feels on this side. We'll take one more breath here. Good, as you inhale, we'll reach both arms back up overhead and we'll cartwheel to the other side. So right hand will come down to your seat or to your lap. And you'll reach your left arm up and over. And once again, maybe rotating your shoulder back a little bit, gazing up or down. Finding a nice long side body stretch here. Good, with your inhale, we'll release, reach both arms back up overhead. Then we'll ex exhale into a cactus shape with the elbow. So press your elbows wide, take your chest and gaze forward. This is a little baby back bend here. As clarinet players, we often spend a lot of time in this sort of shape. So this is really the opposite shape that we're getting into. We're gonna open our chest a little bit. With an inhale, reach your arms back up overhead. We'll go back to that cactus shape. As you exhale, elbows press wide, chest is reaching forward, gaze is tall. Good, inhale, reach your arms high. Last time, exhale, elbows wide. Cactus arms, goalpost arms, very regional dependent here. <laughs> As you inhale, reach your arms high. Then we'll exhale, float your palms back down to your lap. We'll take a second in between here. We'll go into a little um, seated eagle pose next. So we'll do the arms first and then we can add the legs if you are, would like to. So reach your arms forward and you're across your left arm under your right here. A couple of options, you can give yourself a big hug, taking your hands to the backs of your shoulders. You could take the backs of your, uh, backs of your hands together or your palms together, whatever is working for your body today. I'm gonna stick with just giving myself a little hug. And then I like to think about pressing my elbows forward out in front of my space here. So I'm really pushing my elbows away from me. This opens up that space between your shoulder blades. We'll take a couple breaths here. If you'd like to add the arm or the legs, you can pick up your left knee and then just cross your left knee over your right. Take one more breath here. As you inhale, we'll release, unravel your legs and then stretch both arms out in front of you. We'll go to the other side, right arm under left this time. And then same thing here, grab onto the backs of your shoulders, take the backs of your hands or your palms together. You can stick with, which, with whichever you did on the first side. And once you're settled in, press your elbows down and away from you and invite some openness across the back of your heart. And then maybe cross your right leg over your left if you invited that onto your first side. Take one more breath here. And we'll gently release, go ahead and unravel, shake it out. And we'll go into a half sun salutation to end here. So this is something you can do seated or standing. We'll probably go through it twice and then um, We'll do it seated the first time and I'll do it standing the second time so you can see both. So you'll start with this uh, in a seated position just like we are. And as you inhale, you'll reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, you'll hinge at your hips and fold over your legs, reaching your fingertips down toward the ground, taking your gaze toward the floor. With your next inhale, you'll take your palms and press them to your thighs, finding some length in the spine here. You can either take them all the way to the tops of your thighs or to your shins. This is called halfway lift. So you're just really finding some length in the spine here. As you exhale, we'll release back down to forward fold, letting your spine round as your forehead reaches toward the, the ground. Then with an inhale, we'll gently rise to seated back up in our mountain pose with your arms extended up overhead. Good, stack your vertebrae, then exhale, bring your palms back down to your lap. 
All right, we'll go through that one more time. I'm going to scoot my chair back a little bit. You could stay seated or come to standing this time. For standing, we'll start in what is called mountain pose, just with your arms by your sides. And we'll take an inhale to reach both arms up overhead to extended mountain. And then we'll exhale, hinge at your hips, release the ground of your head down toward the mat into a forward fold position. So really letting the spine be rounded here instead of straight. And as you inhale, you'll take your hands to your shins or to your hips, finding the halfway lift. So trying to find a flat back. Letting your shoulders roll down and away from your ears, lifting through your heart center, reaching the crown of your head forward. So you're kind of creating an L shape with the body. And then as you exhale, we'll release back to forward fold, gentle bend in the knees here. Then we'll inhale, slowly rise back up to mountain pose, reaching your arms up overhead as you get to the top. And exhale, float your palms down next to your sides. All right, we'll gently come back to a seat here. Thank you so much for practicing with me just for a moment here. <sighs> if you have any questions, um, I don't know how much time we have, but you feel free to type them in the chat and I can respond in the chat for those. But this was just a little bit of some of the yoga poses I like to do during my practice sessions. This is something you can always do um, during your practice time. I like to kind of break my practice up and do like five minutes of yoga after 20 or 25 minutes of practicing. Just a nice way to get the blood flowing and sort of change your body position. So thank you all again.